Microsoft 365 Copilot is here and it's time to start working with it. In today's video, I will focus on using Microsoft 365 Copilot in Microsoft Word and I will present you the five scenarios how you can use it and what kind of prompts you should try first when you will start to use generative AI in the Word application to generate or analyze documents created in the Microsoft 365. You will learn how to improve your productivity, how to save time and how to change the way how you're working with the Word documents. And as always, I would like to ask you to support this channel. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. In the next section, I will present top five prompts that you should try using Microsoft Word. And before you will move there, I also want to recommend you to check the previous video about Copilot based on the Big Chat Enterprise and how it offers you the possibility to, to generate documents. In this video, we will take that experience to the next level using generative AI in the Microsoft 365. You will learn how to create the documents, how to analyze documents and summarize them, how to prepare marketing plans and also how to generate ideas for the team collaboration. So let's move on to Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word and let's generate some documents using AI. So we move to our Microsoft Word application that already include Microsoft 365 Copilot and allows you to generate the documents using useful prompts. So let's start with the first very useful prompt. Let's create a document from scratch. Let's ask Copilot to include the content and let's build the offer for the Copilot advisory services. I highly recommend you to check what are the results from Microsoft Copilot based on Bing Chat Enterprise? Because we generate very similar document in the previous video, but here the results will be a little better. So let's start with this prompt and ask Copilot to create us the offer that will include scope of service, out of scope, timeline and pricing. So we asking Microsoft 365 Copilot to create the content for our offer. And you can see it's going step by step, including the elements that we're looking for and preparing the offer that we can use as a template for the first step. You can already see we have the pricing, we have the out of scope and we have the idea. So let's so work on this document a little and ask Copilot to extend the offer proposal. And again, the document will be generated in the moment in the extended format. You can see the document is extended. We get additional components that we can use and we get that result just in the moment. And as you can see, you can use prompts to extend or change the capabilities of the document, add additional sections or change something like that. So let's keep it. We have our first offer prepared in the Microsoft Word using Copilot. Mm -hmm. And as we have Copilot as a part of Microsoft Word, we have the offer document that is already created. We can ask Copilot to do something and analyze the document which we already have. And the second prompt I would like to recommend you, you can ask Copilot how you can improve existing document. It don't have to be created by Copilot. It can be any document that you already own. And you can ask Copilot, advise me please, how I can improve this document in the context of the executive summary presentation. And what you will see on the screen, Microsoft Copilot will analyze the document and point the elements that could be improved in the area and context of this specific file. And in the moment we get the advisory from Copilot, what we can change about this document to make it a little better. For instance, we can add additional information about the service itself. You can see we have the scope definition, but service itself is not described in the details. And this is a really good point. Highlight the benefits. So we have the document that covers the service, but there is no business value. And 
work on the pricing plans and you can see you have specific reference in the area of the documents you can reference to to be sure that document will be improved by you and again we get that from the very simple document format but you can see there is the value in the feedback shared in the copilot so you can use the second prompt just to get some kind of advisory how you can improve existing file the third recommendation about the prompts i want to recommend you is using copilot to analyze huge documents so let's imagine you are interested in ai act so the guidelines that european commission is working on and preparing for generative ai in general and if you will get that kind of document downloaded from european commission you will see that this document have 109 pages and it's a lot of text a lot of informations and again it's always good to review that kind of documents but if you need to analyze it quickly so getting the rapid summary copilot could help you to do that very quickly let's try to summarize this document to something that we can easily consume and get high level concept of what is there microsoft will analyze that kind of document and create the summary for you that you can easily review and get the idea what is included in there of course it will not replace you from reading it and deeply understand the document itself but it could help you to start and after the moment we get the document ideas the main points the main summary of the document itself what is the purpose behind the document what are the main points like ai risks risk connected with ai about the transparency measurement and legal impact and you can see this is really great summary of the huge document that contain legal plans around generative ai in european union so let's try another prompt so let's try to ask copilot a little different way about what is included in this document and you will see again microsoft copilot will analyze that kind of document and highlight the content of itself in the much more suitable way and if you have something huge this is the way to analyze documents very quickly as a first step before you will review the details and again you can see this is structured very similar way we have very similar feedback about the legal impact of the ai possible risk measurement and proposal how to approach that kind of situation from the legal perspective also very good summary provided by copilot and let's do another prompt with copilot let copilot review what kind of penalties are included in this document and what this document says about it maybe this is also something that could be interesting if you're looking for the very specific part of the document very specific context copilot could maybe bring that data to you much quicker than reviewing 100 pages and after the moment we get the feedback about what this document says specifically about penalties in the context of the ai you can see it's not that huge but still we get the information and where in this document we have specific information about the penalties itself of course you can search for this word but if something will be much more complex copilot could help you to address this information much much efficient way we're getting back to microsoft copilot and let's try to use it to create something that we can reuse as an idea for our work so let's imagine we need to create marketing plan for our advisory service around copilot so so any services around copilot so let's try to use copilot to create something like that and let's ask our microsoft 365 copilot in microsoft word to generate marketing plan in the one page that will help us to prepare the activities that is worth to consider in the area of our service that we create the offer in the first step 
And you can see Microsoft Copilot create us the summary, what kind of strategies we can use and tactics to create the marketing activities around our service. And again, you shouldn't treat that as a, let's say, one possible way, but you have here multiple ideas that you can use as a starting point to work on that kind of marketing plan. So let us ask our Microsoft Copilot about what kind of font we can use to improve the readability of our document. And you get the feedback about the most readable fonts that you can use to improve the readability of your document. And let's ask also maybe Copilot about what we can change more to get the readability of the document much more user-friendly. And again, these are the feedbacks that you can get after you will create the marketing plan to improve the content that you're creating in here. And the last use case I want to share with you is the idea to use Copilot to share some ideas that will help you to handle your daily work. Like if you are manager of the new team, let's ask Copilot to create us some ideas how we can improve engagement and collaboration inside the team. And we are asking Copilot, let's give us the ideas what we can do to engage the team much more. And here are the top ideas that Copilot brings to us. And this, you can see in this case, we are less focused on the content itself. We are more focused about the ideas that Microsoft Copilot bringing us through Microsoft Word. You can use them, you can extend them as a, your activity plan, and you can also get this specific functionalities outside of the Word itself but it's worth to know that you can try them using Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft Word. You can see Microsoft 365 Copilot in Microsoft Word giving you the possibilities to extend the way how you work. It could really speed up your capabilities, speed up the fundamental tasks that you need to spend time on when you're working in the Word and also to help you to analyze documents, which is really, really great functionality. I hope you are intrigued how Microsoft Copilot could help you in the collaboration in Microsoft Word. So stay tuned on the channel. You will see more videos that will introduce you to the Microsoft 365 Copilot in other Office 365 apps. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.